Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to start covering what the Earth actually looks like. The Earth is actually not a sphere. It's called an oblate spheroid, which means it's slightly compressed from one direction and slightly lengthened in the other. The widest point on the Earth is the equator, and the poles are actually a little bit shorter. But it is nearly spherical. And you can tell that because ships' mass appear first on the horizon. Also, the angle of the North Star changes when you move north or south, and this could only happen on a spherical surface. Additionally, Earth's shadow is curved when seen during a lunar eclipse, and astronauts have also photographed the Earth from space. But Earth is not a perfect sphere. It's an oblate spheroid. The Earth bulges slightly at the equator because of its spinning on its axis. So, for example, if you are at the equator, you are the heaviest you're going to be. If you're at the poles, you're actually the lightest you're going to be because your mass doesn't change, but your weight does, depending on gravity. The Earth's circumference is the distance around the Earth, and it was first measured by a gentleman named Aristosthenes 2,000 years ago. He measured the distance between the Egyptian cities Alexandria and Syene. He also measured the sun's angle at noon at each location, and the difference in angle is a fraction of a circle. He then multiplied the distance by a fraction to get the circumference of the Earth. He obtained a value of 46,250 kilometers, or 28,738 miles, for the circumference, which is very close to the real 40,000 kilometers, or 24,854 miles circumference. So, 2,000 years ago, he was pretty darn good. The circumference at the equator is 40,074 kilometers, or 24,900 miles. The circumference at the poles is 40,007 kilometers, or 24,859 miles. The diameter at the equator is 12,756 kilometers, or 7,926 miles. And the diameter at the poles is 12,714 kilometers, or 7,900 miles. To remind you about density, remember density is mass over volume. And the density measures the amount of material in a given space. And the units are in grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter. Earth's density as a whole is 5.5 grams per centimeter cubed. The temperature below the Earth's surface at 20 meters, the temperature remains the same all year round. As you go deeper than 20 meters, though, the temperature rises 1 degree Celsius with each 40, mil 40 meter increase in depth. Earth's core is 7,000 degrees Celsius. The source of Earth's heat is mostly the radioactive elements, such as uranium and thorium. Additionally, friction between the rocks in the Earth's crust and leftover heat from the original formation of the Earth in the Earth's interior. Earth also loses a fair amount of heat to outer space, but the greenhouse effect of our atmosphere also helps to retain some of it. Okay, so that's a brief treatment on the Earth's shape, dimensions, and internal heat. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me during office hours or by email. Have a fantastic day.